Yeah, g'day Bush Camping Tools here. Well, this is a new acquisition from mine. This is my ATOR 14 inch survival knife. This is a bit of a classic from ATOR. It's no longer made anymore as far as I know. This one's come with olive handle scales, but in the past they made it with uh, Mikata. They made it with uh, stag handles as well. But anyway, yeah, this one is a bit of a classic. You've got this funny looking serrations on the top a little bit of small serrations down here on the base quite a thick blade actually i've reground mine as convex here uh but it came pretty sharp out of the box riveted scales on here and it's just the right length really you know it's not too heavy you can do a bit of uh chopping with that small knife it chops okay this is the eight or 14 inch survival knife just seeing whether it can hack this branch off for a small knife it's got a saw on it too it's not a saw it's really a it's really um, a uh, serrated edge and these vines you see it just make short work of these vines so I'm just letting the weight of the knife do the work itself here just the weight of the knife because it's such a short knife you can't you know really swing it but I don't know. pretty hard this wood Get a snap that soon. There you go. Solid as. Alright, let's move on. Let's see how this does with these vines. Yeah, it cuts the vines really easily, this back serrated thing. Okay, let's move on. But I also cut mushrooms with this thing as well. You know, if it's really sharp, you're going to be able to perform some you know very fine tasks like that anyway yeah it's just a bit of a classic i bought it really this is not really a, a review it's really more of a show and tell of a knife which is uh you know a classic amongst the early type survival knives this big serrations on the back i think would be pretty good for scaling fish and i know it cuts vines and such really really well very very rapidly there you can preserve the main part of the blade so there you go ator 14 inch survival made with their ator steel Whatever that is, no one will ever know, I guess. But nonetheless, it holds a pretty good edge out in the wild. Okay, Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching. Just got these field, uh, sorry, wood bluets rather, in the forest. I'm just going to cut off the uh, stalks. Probably should have cut the stalks off earlier on, but it doesn't matter. Purple and brown, yeah. So, some of you have commented before saying, you know, this is not a mushroom knife, or I'm not using mushroom knives. I've never used a mushroom knife, I don't have one. I'd like to have one, but the blade's usually thin. This is stuff which should be left behind, preferably for the mushroom to grow on with. And, and uh, we'll leave it here, you know, the mycelia and that. But yeah, there you go, the wood blew it. Purple stalks, beige on the top with some purple along the rim. Yeah, pretty good mushroom to eat. Not too bad to eat, actually. Yep, all right, bush camping tools here. Thanks for watching. Not bad, not bad bit of fat wood. Okay, we'll try some other bits. Starting to get a bit of fat wood in there. See this one. Sort of. Could be better quality. Let's see what we can do in here. Let's 
silky saw. Just rips through this stuff. Oh, I can smell this. It's got to be good. Look at that. Not bad. Oh, it smells delicious, might I say. Okay, let's move on. Oh, look at that fat wood. It smells great too, okay?